Hi friend, in this tutorial I will show you Ubisoft IDE download and installation steps. We will see how to download CS Plus IDE, how to install IDE and its debug setting. First of all, open a web browser and type renaissance.com. Once you visit on the Renaissance website, scroll down and you can see here in top tools CS Plus. Click on CS Plus. So you will get CS Plus. Here you can see CS Plus for CC version 8.10 and these are a release note and here CS Plus for CA CX. The actual difference between the CS Plus CC and the CS Plus for CA is the compiler both and uh, this CS Plus CC is the latest compiler CA is an old one so we will install the latest one CS Plus for CC click on the CS Plus for the CC after you will get this CS Plus for CC so maybe you will get uh, something uh, logging window in logging window you need to login on that website after you log in you will get this type of the window after you accept and download your code will start downloading so this uh, i have started for the downloading okay okay once the program download just extract that zip file okay. <clears throat> this one is my old uh, version 8.91 so <clears throat> after extracting the extracting the files open the cs plus cc package folder okay so afterwards you click double click on cs plus one cc package executable file this application after double, double click it start the uh, decomposing okay sorry decompressing <coughs> after the decompressing you will get like this window so here you need to agree click on agree then next then these are multiple uh, series T uh, tool for the rl 78 then tool for the rx then tool for the rh850 or usb driver if you want to use the rx series also if you so you can uh, tick on this if you don't want to use this you can untick as well okay <coughs> so i am installing all the favorites click on next so this is a setup i have already installed that's why it's showing directly the finish option and launching my updates okay so if you are a new one and installing it that time it will show the driver installation and uh, click on the uh, installation files okay and finish it <coughs> after finishing it's open this update so maybe you know not to update directly okay so open after open your cube This is my latest CS Plus for CC version 1.10. 8.10. Okay. 
So we will get like this window. These are the steps for downloading and installing the CS Plus ID for the debugging. As you know, you need to create one sample example project. So we will quickly create one sample example. Create a any part number if you have using. Select that part. I have already explained the project creation steps you can see on my other view tutorial then create this here in this studio I will show you only the debugging settings <coughs> once uh, your project is created So in the left side you can see in the project tree fix this setting. So for the debugging you must select your uh, clock generator and this on chip debug. So if you are uh, debugging on the controller so use this one select this use after use this emulator setting you need to do if you are using e1 then you select e1 if you are e2 then select e2 if you are using e2 light select e2 light so currently i am using the e2 light so i selected e2 light so these are uh, pseudo setting for function i use that one then uh, start and stop i use unuse and monitor and this is the for the security purpose to so make is the as the by default zero zero and this security id authentication failure setting so suppose if you are failed to authenticate this setting then it will automatically erase a flash memory data so this is a good feature in the renaissance and afterwards generate okay so I am not uh, writing any application, I am only the debugging it. Okay. Then these are a compiler setting. <coughs> okay. In compiler setting and for the build, you need to go select this RLC unit simulator, right click on it using debug tool setting, then select RL7 it. E to light after your selection this of the property of the e to light emulator is coming so the, these are the internal ROM is selected right these are a clock setting using this is a serial number is not currently showing and this is a main for the connection with the target emulator and this e to light is supported maximum of 200 milliampere okay so if you are giving the supply externally then click here no on you if you are using power supply on the debugger so select this yes so these are uh, security id this security id is keep as the same for the when whatever we have seen in here it is same zero zero this one zero zero okay so these are to debug tool setting so if you want to see your um, variables in watch window so if you want to see in the re real time in run uh, in uh, run window then that time you need to make it as a yes okay towards this setting not required on debugging okay and here you need to click on the download okay the board is connected so now it's showing unable to connect the e2 emulator okay because i have not turned on now i turn on my debugger 
and I now again I am trying to develop. Okay, now it's debug successfully. If you have any query, you can comment me. I will reply on that. Okay, now I'll stop it. And this one is a stop. Thanks for watching. Me.